time of year, every gardener deserves to give themselves a pat on the back. You've made it halfway through the gardening season and you might find that your garden is starting to look a little tattered, as you might be as a gardener as well. Well, I know at home, I personally have got more cucumbers and squash than I know what to do with, but eventually the squash bugs have caught up with me. If some of your plants are starting to look a little bit tattered, now is a great time to start thinking about fall gardening. Now, you can start clean if you want, but if you have some plants that still look good, go ahead and keep them going. This just means that if you have some that have declined, go ahead and pull those out and possibly plant a different type of crop or replant some of your previous produce so that you can have another harvest in the fall. While fall gardening has never been quite as popular as spring gardening, some gardeners say that it's actually even better because although you have to establish your plant in the heat of the summer, the plant is really growing into the more mild conditions when it's gonna start fruiting for you. So it will get better as the plant continues to grow. The environmental conditions will get better. Today we've got some winter squash that we're gonna plant. We've got both butternut and spaghetti squash. Uh, winter squash takes anywhere from 100 to 120 days till harvest. So you're gonna wanna get this in the ground ASAP. It really needs to be in the ground before the beginning of August. So we're gonna get those planted. Um, the other thing is if you're not finished with your summer squash, if you would like to harvest some more zucchini and yellow squash, then you have plenty of time, as long as you get those in the ground before August 20th. Those typically take 40 to 50 days to harvest, so you've got some time on that. Now the same is true for cucumbers. They need about 40 to 50 days until harvest, so you have until about August 20th to get another crop of cucumbers in the ground. The other thing is if you have any beans left, you can still harvest another crop this fall on your beans. For um, pole beans and cow peas, you wanna have those in the ground by August 1st. For bush beans and lima beans, you have until August 20th. Now I mentioned that there are some other plants, if they're still looking good, you don't have to pull them out. Just keep them going through this hot, stressful time on them. Particularly with tomato plants, a lot of times the plant will still be looking good this time of year, but you might find that your production has decreased a little bit. And that's because of our summer temperatures. The pollen actually in tomatoes will become less viable as the temperatures increase. Temperatures over 85 to 90 degrees during the day and 75 degrees at night will cause this to happen. So you might find that you still have flowers and a few fruit, but just not quite as many as you're used to having. If your plant still looks healthy and is still growing well, just maintain its health through this growing season and as those temperatures cool off, you'll once again get a nice production. For more information about fall gardening, check out this fact sheet. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.